Well, hey there, Pro Church Nation. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the kinds of videos that you should be posting on TikTok as a church. There are so many reasons why I think it makes sense for churches to be active on TikTok, but it really boils down to two simple ones. First, if your church has a student ministry, if your church has a stated desire to reach the next generation, if your church wants to connect with Gen Z, TikTok is the absolute best place to do it. And then secondly, TikTok is making popular a new form of social media content, and that is the short form video. Just like what Snapchat did with stories, I expect the popularity of this content format to carry over to other social platforms. So it's important that you learn how to use it now so that you're not behind the learning curve in a year or two. And that's what I'm here to help with today. What kind of videos should you be creating? And look, it's, it's not easy. The first 10 times I sat down to watch TikTok videos, I admittedly was a bit confused. Like, there might come a day where I don't know what uh, social platforms mean anymore, but it is not with TikTok. I, I managed to make it through with TikTok. And it's the same feeling that I felt when I saw Snapchat stories for the first time. But the more time that I spent on the platform and the more I began creating TikTok videos myself, the more comfortable I began to feel. And so I'm gonna share with you everything I've learned here to ideally speed up the learning process for you. And I've got four types of videos your church can experiment with on TikTok. And the first one is trending sounds. And more than any other social platform, TikTok thrives on comedy. And that comedy is facilitated through running jokes that everyone on TikTok is familiar with. It's very similar to a meme where the format remains the same, but everyone puts their own spin on it. Except with TikTok, it's the trending sound that gets reused over and over again. And if your church wants to thrive on the platform, you'll likely need to participate in this culture. And by the way, before I forget now, follow me on TikTok at Pro Church Tools. Now you might be wondering, why not at Brady Shearer? Well, there's this website that you can go to. What's the website called? Howmanyofme.com. Have you, any of you ever heard of this website? Okay, howmanyofme.com. And basically what you do is you put in your first name and last name, and then it will tell you how many of you exist in America. So I put in Brady Shearer. Apparently there's two of us. Now I don't live in America, so there's two other Brady Shearers. And one of those Brady Shearers, two times in a row now on Snapchat and on TikTok, has stolen the at Brady Shearer username. And there's only two of them. So props to her, I believe it's a her, from Texas, who continues to steal my username, and that's why I'm at Pro Church Tools on TikTok. So. Follow me on TikTok there. As I'm recording this, I've published about 20 videos on TikTok and my three most popular with the most views, well, two of them are using trending sounds. Here's the first one. Do it. That's enough. That's enough. And here's the other one. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! The most important thing for you to know about trending sounds on TikTok is that like all trends, they come and go. So I can't really recommend specific sounds for your church to use because by the time that you see my recommendations, they may no longer be relevant. So that's where you need to be active on TikTok each week, catching up on the flavors of the week and understanding what's trending right now. With that being said, make sure to follow my guy Grayson Bearden on TikTok. His handle is Grayson.Bearden, and he's a youth pastor doing an excellent job of using trending sounds on TikTok in his videos and reaching a massive audience in doing so. So if you are looking for inspiration, what's trending right now, start with him. The second type of video your church can experiment with is the duet. And this is a unique kind of video on TikTok where you essentially create a video reacting to another person's already published video. A great example of that would be a video published by ACF Church. Their TikTok handle is at ACFAK. And this church took a viral TikTok video of a family emotionally reacting to an off-screen event and then did a duet pairing it with their own video where they're inviting the family to church. So when you watch it, the two videos play simultaneously side by side and it looks like this family is weeping in joy at their personal church invitation to ACF Church. Video type number three, teaching. If you look at the majority of videos that I'm publishing on TikTok, you'll see that most of them are teaching style videos, similar to the type of content I generally publish on YouTube and our podcast, but it's adjusted to work for the TikTok format. And that's because the heart of what I do is to help your church navigate the biggest communication shift in 500 years. And I do that primarily through teaching. And I publish funny meme videos on TikTok because that's part of being a TikTok creator, but that doesn't mean that I abandon what makes Pro Church Tools what it is. 
is. It's about finding the balance between reaching deep and wide on a platform like TikTok. And the same goes for your church because one of the best ways that I can explain how TikTok works is that it's easy to gain attention, but it's much harder to earn audience. So you could have a video that goes viral. In fact, there's an element of predictable virality on TikTok if you publish enough and follow best practices, but that doesn't guarantee that you'll build any sort of audience. So if all you did was publish trending sounds videos, look, you might gain a ton of views, but then your brand on TikTok would be the funny person brand, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm not sure it's conducive with the mission of most churches. You'd end up reaching wide, yes, but at the expense, perhaps, of reaching deep. And for someone like you, for someone like me on TikTok, we need both. So for the teaching style video, I'd recommend checking out what our friends at Life Church are doing at Life Church on TikTok. They're taking the sermons shared at their campuses and repurposing them for TikTok. And the best way that I've found to see success with a teaching video like this is to identify a universal pain point that your clip addresses and then use that as the text headline on the video itself. So there's a video from Life Church where the headline reads how to eliminate negative thoughts. And then the video is Levi Lusco guest preaching at Life Church offering a Christ-centered solution to that universal problem. And this works because as people swipe through their TikTok feed and they land on a video like this, the first thing they'll read is that universal pain point headline, how to eliminate negative thoughts. And regardless of their personal beliefs, they may stop and watch through the video because that's something that's applicable universally to all of us. And this is what's amazing about TikTok right now, because you have the opportunity to reach people far from God with the hope of Jesus. And it's so much easier on a platform like TikTok because it's not as saturated as places like YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And organic discovery on TikTok is so much more likely than on other platforms as well. And then finally, video type number four, just funny videos. Unlike trending sounds, these videos don't need to piggyback on what's popular this month on TikTok. They just need to be funny. So let's talk about a couple of examples. The first, Pastor Craig Rochelle from Life Church on his daughter's TikTok account, doing a funny dance alongside her with sunglasses on in their kitchen. And let me just say, if Craig Rochelle, pastor of one of the largest churches in the world, can have this much fun on TikTok and not take himself too seriously, there's really no excuse for the rest of us. I'm sure you have a fun side, pastor. It's okay to show it off. Another example of this would be our buddy, our pal, in-house talent, Alexander Mills. His TikTok account is dedicated to specialty coffee at Alexander Mills Coffee on TikTok. And if you look at his most popular videos, one of them is just bloopers of him trying to throw coffee over his head blindly into his freezer and repeatedly failing. It's funny. And again, that is the driving force behind TikTok right now, comedy and having fun. And my hope is that this gives you the inspiration and the willingness to begin publishing on TikTok. It's gonna feel weird at first, probably, but that's what always happens with a new platform. So don't let it stop you. And if you wanna learn more about TikTok for churches, we've got more content for you to explore. There's a primer on TikTok, 13 things you need to know if you're new to the platform. We answer the question, is TikTok safe? for your church to use? Is this like Snapchat all over again? We pull back the curtain on how the algorithm works because it's different from every other major social platform. And we've done a case study on one pastor's success story on TikTok. And all of those will be linked in a playlist in the show notes. So make sure to check those out if you wanna learn more about TikTok and how it pertains to your church. That'll do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And you can turn on notifications by hitting that little church bell leave a like on the like, hit the like. The like is what you wanna hit. If you have any questions, follow-ups, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best getting back to as many people as possible. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Okay, we like that one light on, we can't see the other one. I'm blocking the other one. This, do we like this here? Do we like the drink? Not gonna lie, I like uh, Kyle's white mug. I like Kyle's like, white mug too. Am I gonna put LaCroix in a mug? 100%, you wanna grab me a mug?